Hey boys and girls, welcome to Art Recycled, Mrs. Hollenmeyer. Today we are gonna make a jellyfish out of a paper lunch bag. All you need is your paper lunch bag and you need some crayons with the paper torn off the sides, some white paper to make the eyes, and you can use a black crayon or a black Sharpie to do the middle part and a glue stick. It's a really easy lesson. I do it with pre-K, kindergarten, first grade when I have my subs. And boys and girls, jellyfish can be any type of color. They could be blues, purples, pinks, greens. So really, you could use any type of color that you want on your jellyfish. The one color you probably want to avoid, though, in this area is brown because the bag is brown or black because, well, it's just a dark color and they look much prettier when you use really bright colors. Let's get started. All right, boys and girls, to start, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get uh, my paper bag um, kind of on the right side. I want the paper bag on this side, so the side where um, the bottom of the bag kind of lifts up. And notice, um, I have not put my hand in to open the bag. I want the bag flat, right? So the side where you can see this bottom part, that's the side where um, my name is gonna go. So I'm just gonna write my name really quick. And then I'm going to turn my bag over because the side that I'm actually gonna color is the side without that. And so I have my crayons here. They all have the paper ripped off of them. I'm not gonna color using the tip of the crayon today like that because this will take a long time if we do that. We're gonna use the crayon with the paper ripped off the sides. We're gonna lay the crayon flat sideways and we're gonna pinch the crayon really hard and hold the paper down with this hand, which can kind of be hard because these paper bags have multiple layers of paper and sometimes they can move and shift a little bit. I'm gonna pinch and I'm gonna start to color using the side of my crayon. Now, here's the thing, your colors can overlap if they want to, that means that one color can go over another one. So maybe I want my blue to go over my purple a little bit like that and they kind of blend together. Ooh, look at that, that looks kind of pretty. Or you can have your colors be totally separate and they don't have to overlap at all. It's just up to you. <clears throat> but one thing I do make my students do is we are gonna color the whole bag. That means all, all the way from the top, all the way from side to side, and all the way to the bottom. So I'm almost done here. When I'm done coloring this, my kids have a choice of two types of scissors. They could use either a regular scissors or something that I call a pattern scissors to cut the bottom tentacles of the jellyfish. So I'm done. Um, if you have younger students, you may want them just to do this with a, with a normal scissors, but where I'm going is the line that you see right here. It's the line that was caused by this, right? So that's gonna be my stopping point when I cut my tentacles up from the bottom. Now I'm gonna choose a pattern scissors. A pattern scissors has a line on it that shows that the blade cuts in a certain pattern, like a wavy line. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I'm gonna use my pattern scissors and I'm gonna cut up. And these can kind of be hard to use with kindergarten. I wouldn't suggest that. Maybe first or second grade. And I'm gonna stop. You see, always when I get to that line, I don't ever go past that line that I see right there. And then you see I can kind of wave these and now my jellyfish has his tentacles, right? So then the last thing I have to do is just make the face. <coughs> so I'm gonna take some white paper here and I'm gonna find something to trace for a circle. Now I have Crayola crayon sharpener dispensers. Those are about the right size. I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to trace two of them. And then I'm gonna cut them out with a regular scissors. So I'm not gonna use my pattern scissors for this if I use one of these for the tentacles. So using a regular scissors, I'm gonna cut these out. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a Sharpie marker or a black crayon, and I'm going to color the pupil in the middle of the eye. And then I'm gonna use some glue stick and just put some glue stick on the back of each pupil and glue on my eyes. Now remember, this part is the head, the part that's above the line. So I'm gonna put one eyeball here and one eyeball here. 
And that's it, boys and girls. That's my jellyfish. And I hope you like this easy lesson. Have fun. Thank you.